We're now here at the Lidl and around 500 meters before the Lidl my inner tube got flat again. Um, Eric is now trying to see what it is. It looks like it's exactly on the same place as before, uh, close to the valve. We're now looking what the problem is. If it is just like a hole we can fix it but it could be a problem with my rim too and then yeah, that's like a little bit of a bigger problem then we have to go to a bike shop today so hey guys it seems to be the same problem as before the inner tire got sliced uh, just at the valve on the rim side the rim tape doesn't seem to be installed very good so i think that somehow pinches the inner tube and causes this slice we're gonna look for a good bike shop and hopefully they can help us to install some proper rim tape so this problem doesn't occur all the time i fixed it with some duct tape at the moment this is only a temporary fix dear god of the inner tires please don't give us any more flat tires coming here <laughs> our prayer didn't work unfortunately so the slice in the inner tube it ripped until the valve and it's impossible to fix uh, now so we're going to discard this one when the train has just come by always uh, strange <laughs> in these urban uh, situations just gotta live through this uh, these things man oh man sometimes you have so many setbacks in one time and it's really easy to get grumpy and frustrated but you kind of have to seize the moment I made some sandwiches, I made some coffee, doing what I'm good at. <laughs> and um, let's get back on the road. Relax, pêche. On m'a mis la matina pesca. Plaisir. Yeah, voilà. Yeah, we Yeah, This is a great example of just randomly meeting people here out in the field we were just about to look for a camp spot and uh, oh there he goes merci <laughs> super nice man uh, yeah and we are never sure if it's okay to camp but if we meet people like this we just ask and most of the time like 99% of the time they think it's just okay so there he goes <laughs> People are so cool. Morning guys. We had just an amazing camp spot this night. Look at this valley. It's so gorgeous. I'm pretty happy that we were standing a little bit higher because yesterday this man that we spoke to already told us that if we go and stand lower it will be pretty cold and it also attracts a lot of uh, mosquitoes. Until now we absolutely love France. It definitely earns a place in our list of favorite European countries that we discovered by bike so far. The weather was still on our side, though it was getting colder quickly and leaves were changing into their warm autumn colors. The hills were also getting steeper and our fitness wasn't yet up to par. Slowly but surely we made our way through the beautiful Jura region. And when we were cooking our dinner somewhere on a small children's playground, a couple invited us to stay in their garden. We were very happy to have a place to pitch our tent, but little did we know. Hi everybody, come in to our small cabin. We have a small cabin here in the woods and we were eating dinner and there were people uh, walking by and they asked us if we wanted to sleep in their garden. 
Yes, of course we did. And they gave us this little cabin to sleep in tonight. So that's fantastic. No fussing with the tent and uh, enough space. So it's great. Alright, what a fantastic place Mary and Valentine have here. If you see this, thank you so much for letting us stay in your little cabin. And uh, yeah, Mari's sitting here, there. So we, uh, yeah, we had a good night's sleep. A little bit of stuffy nose, uh, because sometimes we're sleeping uh, uh, inside. Or actually, what I have to say <laughs> is when you sleep outside, you have all the fresh air. And inside here is a little dusty. So it gets into your nose a little bit and then your nose gets full. So, uh, but yeah, these things happen. We are very happy to be here. It's a beautiful natural place. It looks like a kind of a wild garden. And uh, yeah, super cool. So uh, out on the road again. See you guys later. first leaves are turning their colors and it's so special time of year to be out fall is approaching and it's a great season with a lot of opportunities for edible plants and of course the animals are gathering their food for the winter it's moody it's like like yeah the summer is over and things have passed again and yeah new times are coming oh man wonderful to be out it is, yeah, for me, kind of magical time of year. Uh, my name is, is Flo, so um, uh, I am a, also like you, a traveling cyclist. I rode my bicycle uh, six years around the world. Uh, Europe, America, Australia, Central Asia, and uh, Southeast Asia. And uh, because of the pandemic situation, I, I flew back to France and I bought a little apartment in Saint Claude, and then another apartment. And two weeks ago, I received a message from uh, from you and on Airbnb, and it was a coincidence that we know it was. Our After our little encounter in Oman, yeah. uh, we met for a brief moment, only for ten minutes. Then we separated our ways and now yeah. we find each other again here in St. Claude in France. That's a great thing about traveling. It's a lot of surprise when you travel, you discover new things, then you meet people, then you meet again, then you don't expect to meet it again and that, that's just a great moment to share. For you, what was the highlight in your uh, world traveling experience? Uh, my my uh, favorite uh, uh, highlight, I think it was the cycling under the northern lights. Uh, the all night with uh, beautiful colors and shapes in the sky and good weather with good condition. And so the, the night cycling under this, this uh, sky was just amazing. It was my memory. Uh, what is for you like an experience you had in your life that's changed the course of your life? Uh, I created my own company 15 years ago. I created my uh, business by teaching mathematics online uh, with a free website that brings ad, uh, money with ads. So that's changed my life because after a few years of hard work, I could be my own boss and I could travel the world and still work. So it was a big change for me and also a lot of 
freedom and happiness to have uh, uh, to be successful in what I, I did and work it. The area where we are right now, uh, what kind of area is it? What is some of the interest for people? Uh, so this is mountains of Jura, so we are north of the Alps. Alps are young mountains, Jura are old mountains, but still high. Yeah? And uh, this is, uh, there is a lot of nature, uh, it is a, a national park here. And so we have a lot of uh, mountain wild, wildlife, a lot of waterfall and water coming from everywhere. And if you like the nature, you should come to St. Claude and stay in my Airbnb, maybe. <laughs> or if you are a warm shower person, you can stay for free at my home. Forget everything, go on a bicycle and pedal and you will be happy. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, we're now heading for the next stretch of our journey. Super exciting. Um, it's pretty mountainous here and the weather is getting colder and colder so it's becoming more adventurous for sure. It's a good test for the Pyrenees that are to come. And uh, before we leave you here, we want to give a shout out to one of our fellow cycling friends and creators, Saddle Stories. They have awesome videos, you should check them out. We will uh, put a link after this video. They're awesome storytellers and cool people. And uh, with that, I will leave you here and I will see you in the next adventure. Bye.